Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back and welcome to Tuesday, November 5th, day 30 of climbing the mountain. I'll jump right into the check-in here. So this morning when we woke up, we weighed ourselves at 350 pounds on the dot. So continuing to make progress there. That's awesome. Uh, definitely just within a day or so of getting to a new low. So that's really exciting, but I'll come back to that. Moving on to the blood pressure, measured that at 136 over 85. It's pretty good. It's better than it's been in the fa past few days, so I'm thankful for that. Uh, just continue to keep an eye on that. And I'll move to sleep. So from last night with my bathroom crisis, I only slept for two and a half hours. And then this evening, I slept for another hour and a half. I took a nap. Um, we'll come back to that again. I'll jump into the food. So for breakfast, uh, I had to go to uh, work today, and on the way in, stopped at McDonald's, got a sausage McMuffin with an extra sausage patty and two hash browns. So that went a little bit deeper there. And then for lunch, we had a brunch luncheon at uh, work. So I ate scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, home fries, and then put syrup all over it. And then for dinner, I stopped at a bar after work. And I got some loaded fries and 10 boneless wings that were uh, covered in honey barbecue sauce. And then I'll move over to the MyFitnessPal chart. So this is a difficult day to quantify because the other than the McDonald's, everything was basically created uh, I don't have a way to know exactly what's what you know what I was eating or what it was containing exactly so I just found things that would at least create a record of what we ate um, you know no excuses though I uh, definitely ate way too much food and that shows in the numbers here the the calories are gonna be way over even if they're not exact I'm sure I, I have no problem saying that it's definitely higher than it should be and the sodium should be blown out from everything I ate so understandable um, now I'll, I'll just speak to everything a little bit here so for uh, the day I woke up this morning I started getting ready to go to work and found out that my bathroom is still jacked up from yesterday uh, ended up flooding it again trying to work on it so I was not exactly DJ Jazzy Jeff as far as being jazz for the day and then having to go to work uh, on top of that that wasn't really improving my mood but something I had to do so you know get over it I guess uh, that being said went to McDonald's and kind of just started to mentally prepare to uh, get riled up and things so I ended up going a little bit harder there than I have been in the past uh, not too much more but still more so it added into the uh, eating problem and then at the luncheon grabbed the food and it was all very delicious so I ended up going back up for seconds probably could have stopped there and had an improvement um, but ended up enjoying that quite a bit uh, so it is what it is there and then uh, after work was able to hang out with one of my buddies from work and we don't get a chance to really do that so we ended up going to a bar and eating some food there um, now this is I marked this down in the chart as the three different meals it was legitimately from like 6.45 to maybe like 2.30, 3 o'clock so um, not a huge amount of time between the three meals and then after that I knew that I had kind of gone off the rails here so I wanted to um, just call it quits for the day on the eating so after I got done at the bar I didn't put anything else away for the day just to try to mitigate how much damage we're really doing uh, then uh, after the eating I came home I worked on the bathroom I got pretty frustrated so ended up taking a break and I started to kind of fade out from where I only slept for a couple hours so decided to take a nap just you know 
get a fresh perspective coming back to it. Uh, that I think I slept for like 90 minutes, but I didn't even I didn't want to really throw it in with the sleep. Um, so I woke up, didn't feel super great. Still pretty foggy and tired, but I got the bathroom fixed for certain, so I'm super happy about that. Um, then just from the for the rest of the evening, I struggled. I str- really struggled to get everything accomplished just from the feeling the the tiredness. The, my energy just feels like it's sapping by the minute, so a little bit tough to get everything done. But I think that's understandable given the unfortunate circumstances. And that was really it. Just not really a great day. And especially it's it's kind of uh, frustrating because it hit the 350 pound mark again today. So we're we're getting close to jumping down under the 349 that we had previously hit. And I think with all the extra eating, my expectation should be to wake up a little bit heavier tomorrow. And that's okay. I mean, I just kind of moment of weakness today a few times over where I ate more than I should have and I know better than that but just being in the circumstance I think I let it get to me and that's unfortunate but we know better so that's that's not the end of the world for sure um, that being said if uh, if I do end up heavier tomorrow and this is going to take more days to get down under 349 that's okay I mean, we're grinding away with no uh, no sign of stopping, so I like a good fight. If 340s wants to put up a fight with me and my brain wants to help it, all right, we'll get there. I'll take that fight. Then, lastly, uh, I'm just going to do quote and clip, and then I'll cut this short so I can hit the bed. Um, i got an early day tomorrow, too, so... The struggles continue. But on that note, sick segue on my part, I found a quote in a clip dealing with struggle, since that's what we're uh, finding ourselves swimming in right now. So the quote I found is from uh, Robert Tew, T-E-W. He's a writer as far as I can tell. But Robert said, The struggle you're in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow, so don't give up. And... I think uh, I'll, I'll go to the video and then I'll talk about them both. So the, the video clip I'm going to throw up is called Struggle Makes You Stronger. And both these things are great. Uh, when I talk to people about pain, I like to give the example of uh, a child or you know a really young child stubbing their toe. They'll scream as if the world's going to end. But in perspective, that may be the worst thing that's ever happened to them. So that's that's the only thing they have as a frame of reference for what pain feels like. And the worst things that you go through, that you make it through, it's it's uh, what we've been talking about. It just adds that to your toolbox. You know what real pain feels like. The little things never get to you anymore. And not as bad anyways. You know, pain's still pain. But you can put things in perspective much better and... Uh, the more all this adversity just makes you a more resilient person, makes you stronger, more uh, durable to deal with all this nonsense. So uh, there is a reason to be thankful for the adversity once it's over with. Um, that is where I will end. I uh, just want to thank everybody for watching. Appreciate uh, appreciate y'all. And appreciate you making me a little bit better each day. Uh, So we'll continue on the up and up. Uh, You keep climbing the mountain. I'll do the same. And I will see you tomorrow.